was that although we humans are very limited physically, particularly in my own case, our minds are free to explore the whole universe and to boldly go where you start wreck fears and red. But is the universe actually infinite, or it just very large? And the risk of incurring the fate of Prometheus, who stole fire from the ancient gods for human use, I believe we can, and should, try and understand the universe. As I shall describe in this talk, we have already made remarkable progress in understanding the cosmos, particularly in the last few years. We don't yet have a complete picture, but I think that may not be far off. The universe seems to be much the same, at each position in space, that is definitely changing in time. If stars had been radiating for an infinite time, they would have heated up the universe at their temperature. <laughs> if at night, the whole sky would be as bright as the sun, because every line of sight would have ended either on a star or a cloud of dust that had been heated up until it was as hot as the stars. <laughs> so the observation that you have all made, that the sky at night is dark, is very important. It implies that the universe cannot have existed forever in the state we see today. Thank <laughs> you.